Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation. Where today we're taking a look at a passage of scripture in Corinthians, where the Apostle Paul talks about, I wasn't stretching beyond my measure, beyond our measure. And I was just thinking about this verse, because just the other day I was reading through the book of Corinthians. I was actually reading it in the King James Version, which I don't normally do. I didn't have access to my normal Bible. So I was reading in a King James Version. This verse just kind of started to stick out to me. Let's take a look at this verse here. It says, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 14. The Apostle Paul says, For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure, as though we reach not unto you. For we have come as far as to you also in preaching the gospel of Christ. <clears throat> so, just put a little different way. We've talked about this concept before. Of always leaving some margin in everything we do. I think it's a basic principle that applies into just about every area of life. It applies into our finances. It applies into our health. It applies into health and fitness, into our workouts, into stretching. Just not overextending yourself. Some versions of this scripture Use the word overextending, being careful not to overextend ourselves. Staying within our limits, staying with what we can do. One of the principles we talk about often, doing what you can do, not overextending past that. Because there's something interesting I've learned. And I learned this in the gym, doing personal training with people. When you stick with what you can do, it's like the body begins to open up and it begins to expand the capacity of what it's able to do. But when we push too far, it's like the body reacts in the opposite of what we think it should. The body tends to kind of shut things down because we push it too far. And so we're going to take communion over this today. Asking God to help us to understand this verse and how to walk in it consistently in our lives. So Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful. So grateful to have you in our lives, that you've released us from darkness. You've transferred us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus, and he's a great king. You've given us purpose and grace in Christ Jesus before time ever began. He was smitten for us so that you could fight for us. And Father, we thank you that you are our healer and our provider. You are more than enough. You're the God of all grace, the God of all hope, the God of all comfort, the God of all wisdom. You're our wisdom, you're our confidence, you're our strength and our security. You're our shield and our great reward. You are an ever-present help. We just thank you for all these great and precious promises that you've given us in your word and all that you've already done for us in Christ. And Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to understand this verse about how to not overextend ourselves or to stretch ourselves too far beyond our measure. Help us to understand this and help us to walk in this consistently in our lives from this point on in our lives. And we're going to take communion as a way to activate this in our lives. So Heavenly Father, we thank you that the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread. And he said, this is my body, broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. We'd all missed it. We'd all turned to our own ways. And God laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by God, smitten by God. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in his sight. All through his one sacrifice. And God raised him up from the dead and seated him at his right hand. And he raised us up together with him, made us sit together with him. And communion's a celebration of our union with him. Being joined together as one. As Father, I thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread.
And after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness and transfers us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. And he's a great king. His blood washes us and cleanses us, gives us a fresh start in life. We get to walk out this day today in a covenant relationship with him. So, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have a juice, you can take a juice. All right, let's talk about some practical application of this. In our health and fitness, one of the best ways to practice this, stick with what you know you can do. Don't push it beyond measure. Something I've seen over and over in the gym world. Those that are very strong usually very rarely test their limits. They stick with what they can do. Those that are not as strong are always trying to push the limit. And it's this interesting thing. If you'll stick with what you can do and you'll train in that level, you'll get better. And your measure is going to grow. Your capacity is going to grow. Now, I've also seen the same thing. If you have an injury in the body, pain in the body, you find what can you do with no pain or issue. Start there. The hardest part of that is humility. The hardest part of all of this is humility. Because you think you can do more. Start there. And you're going to find if you start there, you're willing to start where you're at. It'll expand very quickly. And you get to where you can do full movements again without pain. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center. Dot com.